What? What? Good morning, everybody, or afternoon, whenever you're seeing this evening. Uh, this is Joe out here at the off-grid cabin in the barn at St. Bernard Acres. Welcome back to the channel. This is Sunday, January 16th, January 17th, sorry, uh, 2021. And I came out here to take care of that thing, rolling around in the mud, yes. <laughs> and I brought out a new uh, charge control I'm going to be using for the solar panels in the barn. If it ever dries up and lets me finish, I'm totally, I want to go on the record here saying I am totally amazed at how these four solar panels are keeping those six, you know, Walmart batteries charged and keeping my refrigerator going and everything. And with probably five hours of sunshine in the last three weeks, four weeks, it's crazy, but it's doing a great job. So I'm really happy with those thousand watts. You don't need a, you know, 15 megawatt tower <laughs> power shit, you know. Uh, but yeah, that's about it. I just had to take care of this fat boy and uh, bring some more food out for him. And make sure the place was staying warm. Because we got some really cold weather coming up. And I don't want to... I had to check the level of propane. I guess in a couple weeks I'll be calling to get the 100 gallons filled. So, so we can keep him happy. I wanted to share with you a story um, about Max. And I can't do this on camera. I can't have the camera facing me because it's going to be tough to try to explain. Um, you guys that have followed my channel know Maggie and Misha, the two girls we had before we got Max. Um, before Maggie and Misha, we had a brother and sister named Sam and Brandy. And I guess it was 12 years ago we had a uh, to put them down they were 12 years old but there was something special about brandy and me i don't know what it was uh you know it's been 12 years i still can't talk about it so there'll be a lot of chop cuts in this video i'm sure um but she would uh it was kind of funny <laughs> No matter where she was in the house, if I got mad about something, I could be watching a football game and yell at the TV. She would jump up and come running over and climb up on me, put her arms around my shoulder and her head on my shoulders, you know, to try to calm me down and make sure, let me know everything was all right. Uh, if Gail would get mad and yell at me, here would come Brandy. You know, just keeping me calm. She thought that was her job. And uh, she had a uh, special way of looking at her and I. And even when we were looking for more St. Bernard's after we had put them down, I had to explain to, to breeders, you know, I want to come out and look at your, your puppies. But I'm looking for something in particular in, their, in the eyes. And if I don't see that, don't, that doesn't mean I don't think your dogs are good dogs or whatever, but I'm looking to replace Brandy. And, uh, it really wasn't able to find one. Maggie was as close as I could get. But Brandy, we had cremated. Well, we have all of them cremated. But I told Gail, I said, you know what? I, at the time, I was 52 years old. And I told her, nobody in my life ever loved me the way that dog did. So, when I die, I want her ashes buried with me. Uh, just because she meant that much. 
and still does. I mean, you know, like I said, it's been 12 years. So, <laughs> let me get to Max. This morning, we were sitting in the living room. Max was in his crate. We bought a crate for Max. First time we ever had a dog that we bought a crate for. Uh, not to crate train him, but he's mischievous. And he, you know, he ate my glasses. So what I do when he goes to sleep at night, we put him in the crate. That's, you know, we'll go that far with him because he's, uh, he's still a pup. And Maggie and Misha had each other to keep each other company. Sam and Brandy had each other, you know, for company. Well, Max is all alone. So all of that energy, <laughs> you know, he builds up. He can't get rid of it. Gail said, I'm the other dog. <laughs> because, you know, I'm with him pretty much 24-7. Um, but this morning, he was laying in his crate. We don't put him in it during the day, but it's open. And that's like his safe spot. He likes it. And when he's ready to take a nap, you know, after breakfast, I made French toast, made him his own eggs and everything. <laughs> you know, not that we're spoiling him yet. But, uh, you know, when he was ready to take a nap, he went and got in his crate and just laid down. You know, sometimes he lays there. He can go wherever he wants to take his nap. And uh, the cats were in the dining room. And I got a lot of stuff stacked in there. We've been moving stuff around and rearranging and getting ready to get carpet for the living room and dining room and, you know, paint the walls and everything. So we're sitting there. We hear this noise. One of the cats jumped up and knocked all kinds of crap over. And I'm sitting in my chair, right? And I was like, damn it. Got up out of his crate, came over there, climbed up in the chair with me, you know, Put his paws on my chest. Uh, started giving me kisses, you know, trying to make me calm. He, he thought I was mad, you know. He was trying to help me settle down. And he, he looked at me. And it was just like Brandy. And yes, I got all teary-eyed. <laughs> but I think, you know, what it did, it reinforced the fact that I needed him. When we got him, I'm going to tell you the truth. I wasn't, you know, I wasn't real sure I wanted to get him or get another dog, not just him, but to get another dog because I knew getting a puppy was really going to interrupt everything out here. You know, I couldn't spend all the time out here because he's a puppy. You know, there'd be all this... Everything would change. <laughs> and I was just getting where I could spend days out here and not worry about anything at home. Well, with Nick working and Gail working, I didn't want, you know, Sam doesn't need to be there all alone, you know, all day long. So, like I said, I messed that up. But today proved to me that. I guess this isn't as important as he is. So, anyway. <laughs> Enough being sappy. But that was just incredible when he did that. And then I gotta come out here and see this darn thing. Uh... But yeah, that was a special moment. But yeah, that's when it, it, it hit me this morning. I knew that getting Max was the right thing to do. It was good for me. 
uh, it might help me finally get over uh, Brandy. Because I'm telling you, after 12 years, I can't even talk about her still. Uh, I think I did one of those 20 question challenges or 40 question challenges. And uh, one of them is, what's the hardest thing you ever did in your life? And that's what I answered. The hardest thing I ever had to do in my life was to put Brandy down. Uh, I mean, I love my kids to death, but I couldn't imagine it being any worse. I'm not going to say it wouldn't be, but I can't imagine that. And I hope if that if it's worse than what I went through with Brandy, then I hope we never have to go through that with one of my kids. I hope I go long before my kids. Because, uh, man, she messed me up. But, yeah, to see Max do that and then look at me and give me that same look that Brandy used to, I did, whew, that was a rough one. And to try and hide it from Gail. Because <laughs> that was Gail thinking I was all sappy and everything. Uh, but that was, yeah. I'll never forget that moment. That's the the moment of bonding that we had. Anyway, enough of that. All right. Well, I hope you guys liked my story uh, with Max and Brandy. And I'm glad I got to say that. I needed to tell somebody. Um, I'll be out here, like I said, you know, as soon as it dries up some, it's starting to snow now again. Uh, as soon as it dries up some and warms up a bit, I can get back into that barn and start getting all that stuff set up. I got all my solar panels changed over. I got everything ready. It's just too cold and wet to be messing with it right now. Uh, I like running back in the barn where it's nice, and, or in the cabin where it's nice and warm. But, uh... Yeah, if you like this, I appreciate it. Give me a thumbs up. If uh, you're not a subscriber, go ahead and hit that subscribe button, if you will. And uh, let me know if you had an animal that you were that close to that meant that much to you. Uh, it'd be nice to hear other stories so that I don't think I'm a weird person. Or, you know, I'm the oddball of a group that would let a dog do that to me. But I'm going to get out of here. Get Creamer back in the cabin and get myself back to warm wheeling, or at least in the house, and watch some Cleveland Browns kick some butt, maybe. <laughs> but again, this is Joe out here at the cabin. I'm out.